welcome to this short video on user defined attributes or UDAs in Tecla Structural Designer. UDAs are a great way to manage members in a model to quickly apply attributes, review, and filter by. You can also use UDAs and reports to customize the output. User defined attributes can be created and modified within the settings or model settings for an existing project or template file. You can set these any way you'd like to make them the most useful for your company and typical workflow. A single member can be in multiple UDAs, so you can use these in different ways. Add your own if the combination of type and source that you require is not available by default. You can also use UDAs to apply notes to individual beams and attach files, such as a test file, if you're doing any additional calculations outside of TSD. There are two ways to set up UDAs as you're modeling. The first is to add them to your saved property sets. This is a good option for general UDAs. This is something that you could set up ahead of time in your template file. As you model the members using the property sets, the UDA will also be created. Note that you could also do this in the properties box prior to modeling, although we recommend setting up a template and using the saved property sets in this manner. The second way to set up UDAs is to assign the UDA once the member is modeled. You can do this by selecting the members, going into the properties box, and then identifying the UDA that you would like that member to have. The results view has a UDA command which allows you to review the members and existing user defined attributes. Here you can see color coded all UDAs and members within. You can also assign other members into existing UDAs. Use the show filter to view only members in the current UDA. Once UDAs are established, they can be used to quickly review and modify member properties by groupings. In the Groups tab, go to the User Defined Attributes. There you'll see all current UDAs defined in the project. Right-click on a group and choose Select Invisible View. All members in that UDA will be highlighted and selected. You can now make changes in the Properties window and it'll be applied to all the members in this UDA. After a completed design, UDAs can be used to review and report information. For example, when viewing tabular data, we can filter by UDAs. In this case, we can view wind drift information for all of the columns in the X direction, and we would select the appropriate UDA to give us this information, assuming that you've set up your UDAs in this manner. We can also apply report filters to view information only for those members within a certain UDA. Within the model report option, you would go to the category that you want your report to be defined as, right click and choose a model filter, then select the appropriate UDA, give it a name and apply it to the report. Now only information for the members in that UDA are going to be displayed in the report. User defined attributes can be a powerful tool when working in a large model in Tecla Structural Designer. UDAs allow you to organize, manage, and review groups of members quickly and easily. That brings us to the end of this short video on user-defined attributes or UDAs in Tecla Structural Designer.